Okay guys, uh, this is going to be part one of me taking apart the Prairie 650 4x4. Um, it's pretty straightforward so far. You uh, take the seat off. And then you want to disconnect the battery and take it out. After you do that, mine only had a screw here. One on the opposite side. And that was pretty much that. And this whole unit kind of popped off. I popped it off over the shifter. Set that over here. After that, there was one 10 millimeter. Took that out, and this popped off. This is the the breather tube for the CVT transmission. That came off pretty easy. They didn't have the can point to it. The little clip that held that on, so I'll have to get a new one of those. After that. There was one bolt back here in the corner of the breather box. Took that off. Under the filter, there are eight eight millimeter bolts all the way around. After I took all those off, and this hose, it popped right off. There was also one little hose that went on the bottom. Make sure I don't lose those make sure you don't lose the gaskets. After that I haven't got too much farther. Tons of dirt. After that there are two hose clamp screws, one here and one that was really hard to get to on the back underside of here and then the fuel line hose and it pretty much popped right off I'm just sitting right here for now and it's got me to about where I'm at I'm getting ready to take off the exhaust manifold bolts you can see that down there I got that one loose and I'm having trouble getting to the second one. And I haven't had a chance to get to the front ones yet, but those look like they might be hard too. I'm not sure. Also, if any of you know why, there's this little black split right here. And it was connected to this little reservoir. And this little reservoir had coolant in it. And it looks like it connects to the coolant hose. I didn't know if any of you, any of you knew what that was or not. But that's about as far as I've got today. I've been pretty busy, so there will be more in the future until I get it out and when I tear it down and rebuild it. So thanks for watching and let me know what you guys think and have any advice, please feel free to let me know. Thank you.